Hello and welcome to this video abstract of our work on irrationality exponents of generalized continued fractions by Jaroslav Hansel, Kalle Leppälä, Tapani Matalaho and Topi Törmä. We start with some basic definitions and preliminaries. For the generalized continued fraction we use these notations. Here numbers a n and b n are real or complex numbers. And we call the numbers a n the partial numerators and numbers b n the partial denominators of the continued fraction. A special case of continued fractions are simple continued fractions where the partial numerator a n is always 1. And the partial denominators b n must be positive integers. By the nth convergent of the continued fraction, we mean this expression. And when n tends to infinity, if the limit exists, we call the limit the value of the continued fraction. From now on, we assume that partial numerators and denominators are positive integers. The numerators and denominators of the convergence satisfy these second-order recurrences. By the recurrence relations, we get the difference of two consecutive convergence, which can be used to deduce these error estimates. In particular, we shall use the upper bound for studying irrationality exponents. By the concept of irrationality exponent of a real number tau, we mean any exponent mu for which there exist positive constants c and n0 such that this inequality holds for all rational numbers with big enough denominators. The asymptotic irrationality exponent is defined as the infimum of all irrationality exponents. Numbers that don't have any irrationality exponents are called Liouville numbers. It is also known that the asymptotic irrationality exponent of an irrational number is at least 2, and for rational numbers it's exactly 1. Now that we got our basics covered, let's move on to our results. Our target is to study how the asymptotic irrationality exponent of a given generalized continued fraction, representing some irrational number, behaves as a function of growth properties of partial coefficients. We assume that the partial coefficients are positive integers bounded either by constants, by polynomials in n, or exponentially in n. Throughout the article we use the following lemma to obtain an upper bound for the asymptotic irrationality exponent of a given real number. Let tau be a real number with this general continued fraction representation, where a n and b n are positive integers and these conditions hold. Then we get an upper bound for the asymptotic irrationality exponent of tau. We use this lemma to prove three theorems on irrationality exponents of continued fractions with partial coefficients bounded first by constants, then by polynomials, and last by exponential functions. For this abstract, we present the constant case. So let us assume that the partial coefficients are bounded by constants, which satisfy this condition. Then we get an upper bound for the irrationality exponent. It is a known fact that for simple continued fractions the asymptotic irrationality exponent is 2 when the sequence of partial denominators is bounded. This also follows from our theorem. One might wonder whether we could reach the same exponent 2 for generalized continued fractions. It turns out this can't be done, because for every possible exponent s we can construct a number tau s with partial denominators always 1 and partial numerators a and always 1 or 2, such that the irrationality exponent will be s. We conclude by presenting some concrete examples of numbers studied in our article. The constant case, the polynomial case, and the exponential case.